Ladies and gentlemen, this is Renser with Skyrender Studios, and we are we are moving on from our uh, base defense uh, part two here and going into part three. So what we have is uh, let's just do a quick recap here. When we left off, we just got our turrets up on the northern border here, and what we're going to be doing is feeding them ammunition and getting into walls. So we have we want to have a physical barrier here. So what I'm doing is placing all of my inserters and I have to get a few power poles here so we got a couple poles and let's see here alrighty and just like this and just like that oh wow okay so what I'm gonna do is space this out one more okay cool that works alright so we have turrets up top we have inserters we have a belt and of course we have an ammo network. So I re uh, you know, reverse that guy. And once again of course you push R to rotate things including transport belts. So every one of these turrets will take up to 10 mags of ammunition and will then consider itself filled up and ready to go. So we're just going to let the ammo network supply these guys and make sure that if somebody attacks because the natives will eventually attack, because this is not on peaceful mode. To me, peaceful mode is not realistic, so that's why I don't do it. Okay, so those guys are doing that, so I need to get on my my red science packs, okay? so Okay, so I have ten science packs. So it's going to be important for us to start making science packs, right? Because we need to be able to do research, and it's not efficient for me to have to stop what I'm doing and make a science pack. Also, the fact that I'm pretty slow at making science packs in terms of a character, because I obviously, I, I have, like everything, I have a maximum crafting speed, right? So, that's going to be very important as well, is the fact that I have a maximum crafting speed. Alrighty, so let's take a look at what, a, what comprises this red science pack. So, it's two iron plates and a copper plate. So what I can do, because there's two ingredients, I can use an assembler and I can make or add science packs. Um, oh, I need a gear wheel. Okay. So I have to have a an assembler or two or five making gears. And then I have to have an output line of gears. And then I have to have my copper, right? My copper plates. And then I can feed those to an assembler. Okay. So now we're getting into making things. Lots of awesome things. I'm just going to come back here and just drop the rest of these in here. I think we're going to do an assembler episode, but I don't think it's going to be, you know, soon. It, well, it might be the next episode, but I'm not entirely sure, honestly. Okay, so I have about a thousand stone. Hopefully that's enough to do the walls I need. So we're going to need to give these guys... Okay, so what I need, honestly, right now are furnaces. I need furnaces to take these stone and to smelt them down into stone brick, which is more dense than just stone, and that will let me build stone walls, which is what we want. So, I need to have furnaces, and we will see, clearly I have a pile, of, excuse me, clearly I have a pile of stone, so one, two, three, four, we'll just do four, and I'm going to manually fill these, so that's not that big of a deal, so we're just going to go one, two, three, four, and I'm going to run and get myself some coal. There we go. That should be more than enough. Okay. Fill it, fill it, fill it, fill it. And yes, I can just use inserters and pull off the coal line, which I will do. Okay, cool. So walls are, are now researched and... So very cool. So now what I have are my furnaces and they're all making stone bricks. Now it it's actually expensive to make a wall. It really is. To to make a wall you have to have five stone brick. But every brick requires two stone. So you can only make 25 bricks per stack of stone, which means you can only make five walls. So they're expensive. So I have 39 brick, and I can make 7 stone walls, and that's really not a whole lot. So let's scale this up, guys. Okay. Let's see. Let's just get ourselves... Let's 
Let's get ourselves ten furnaces here. I need all all the bricks. I have enough. All right, there we go. Cool. Now I have 10 furnaces. And they do blaze through these stacks pretty fast. Here we go. So now I can make 15 more walls. This is going to take a little while. This, but even with 10 furnaces just blazing on bricks. I mean, stone becomes a an issue pretty fast. Honestly, it does. I've got... I have a map that my stone production is actually kind of stupid. And let's look at production. Are you guys ready? Let's hit P. Bam. And you look at consumption. I'm consuming 300... It's spiking at 368, but it's like 320, 320 stone a minute. And I'm producing about 160 bricks a minute. That's pretty crazy. I'm also producing uh, 16, at max, I'm producing 16 magazines a minute. Right now I'm consuming 32 iron plates a minute. And we just spell it out for you. This is nothing compared. This is nothing in terms of scalability. This is. There. We're going to be doing so many crazy things. I'm just trying to keep these guys fed. And just try to build my walls. So now that we've got that, let's just let that do its thing for a little bit. And let's build our walls. So I like putting the walls right in front of the turrets. Right? So we're just going to go... Just hold left click and just run. And build our walls. There we go. Now we've got walls. That's how... <laughs> that's how much... Our stone bricks made for walls. We weren't even able to do the, the northern area over there. But that's that's how crazy walls can get very fast. Let's make some more walls. So let's come over here and try to finish out this corner. There we go. Now I have a safe barrier on my northwest corner. What I'm going to do is just run this east. What we're going to do is encapsulate this guy over here. We're going to terminate it off here at the, the water over here. And we're going to come to the south side of the lake. We're going to terminate this off down here so I can get my stone over here. And I'm going to terminate it off over here at this lake over here. So we end up with our own little world inside these uh, pair of uh, little lakes here. And that's going to be very useful. They don't need a whole lot of fuel, but they do need a, an absolute ton of stone. Okay. Now let's go see what our our dudes are doing with stone. Alrighty. Cool. Okay, so I want to explain something why I'm going to swap out these guys for a pair of electric drills. Very simple metric. If you look at the right side on there, you're going to see a thing that says not only mining power, but it says mining speed. That's what I care about, and simply put, electrical the electrical drills. If I can speak, geez, the wall, 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 yeah, the electrical drills can mine faster. 
That's the only reason. They can mine faster. And you'll see mining power is 3. The mining speed is uh, 0.5. So these guys are going to collide with each other. So what we're going to do is just going to do this. Bam. It's like... And of course, I hit the button right when it saved. Now they're going to be mining faster. Now I'm going to get bricks even faster than before. Which is coolio, guys. That's something I haven't done yet. I haven't done voices for you. Mm. All right, anyway. That's probably because it's not professional. And this is a tutorial. I'm supposed to be teaching. Voices help in teaching because they change things up and your brain's like, what the heck was that, right? But yeah. Alrighty. So let us protect our copper deposit over here. And of course, we're still making more walls. And I think this will be fine to start my my diagonal run there. So all I'm doing is just running in a diagonal line while placing my start piece right where I want it. Okay, so I went a little too far. So we want to pick that up, pick that up, that one, and that one. Cool, okay. Now it takes the natives time to get through the walls. And that's going to be important. Because it gives me enough time to react. Go, basically go shoot them. And figure out what's going on. Let's see here. Steel processing is awesome. Because then you get uh, better axes, better chests, you steel plates. And that allows you to do all kinds of great things, including having an advanced material processing where you can get uh, furnaces that are, you know what, let's just do that, because the furnaces alone, so right now let's take a look at a furnace real quick, okay, you'll see crafting speed is one, there are furnaces that are twice as fast, the crafting speed is two, and that is a steel furnace, they're amazing, so we are going to do that, we're going to research that, so I'm going to make five, six, seven, eight, nine. And how many does this take? 20. So all that I have left, I'm going to come over here to my iron chest of happiness. And even with two furnaces, this thing is not going very quickly. It's only because there's one drill, honestly. Okay. We're doing a lot of things at once, guys, so we just got to keep track of everything. So now we have steel processing that's going. I have my ammo network, and we are still working on walls, which also means I'm still waiting for stone here. Okay. So half a stack. Half a stack. What I'm doing is I'm right-clicking the stack, and I'm taking whatever it gives me, which generally is about 23. So I can at least have these making more, because I can give more to fewer things, but that's that won't be as fast. So what I'm doing is I'm giving a little bit to everything, and that gives me parallelism. That gives me all of them working together simultaneously, which is what I need. want. I need speed of crafting, right? So we're going to give that guy to that, and I need to make at least seven more, I believe. So I'm going to do that. Okay. It's coming along, guys. It's coming along quite well, actually. So we're going to try to... Okay, so we've got... Stone, stone, stone. And I'm just going to keep clicking everything. Okay. Alright, so we're going to start making more walls. Run out east here. That's a nice oil deposit right there. That's going to be very cool. Okay, so we've got, see, I've got about six minutes left. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me there. So what we're going to do is is put our wall up here. Okay, 
So honestly, guys, at this point, it's like rinse and repeat, right? You pick up stone, you smelt a lot of stone, then you build your walls, right? You make your bricks, then you make your walls, and then you place your walls. And the goal, obviously, is a physical 360-degree barrier around your base. And this makes it take too long for the natives to come by and attack you, so you have time to react. So that's primarily what it is. And the fact that I am I'm now protected on my north wall, if we look, I'm protected on the north wall from my closest aggressors, that's important. That's my goal right now, right? And you'll see that my pollution is about to reach them. So they're about to start getting irked with my presence. So at the... For the end of this episode here, what we're going to do is we're actually going to try to venture south and southwest a little bit because I need to find another sizable ore deposit for iron. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so we have base defense. Honestly, I, I think we've, we're done. I mean, it's just more of the same. It's just putting more walls, more turrets, and more transport belts. So we have achieved base defense at the level that I wanted to satisfy this episode. So this is the end of part three of the base defense episode, and this is the end of the official base defense episode. So it's either episode nine, part three, or this would be episode 11. Uh, you can decide for yourself. I think I'll just make it uh, part three. So the next one will be episode 10. So you guys have been amazing, and thank you for listening to my ramblings and my death of, you know, being killed by the natives. But that's what happens. It's part of the game. It's part of the game rules. It just proves that I'm not cheating or anything, and that's why we autosave, okay? That's why we autosave. I could have lost everything, right? But I didn't because I have my autosave. Just click on autosave, hit load, and you're back. And I lost, what, like 15 seconds worth of time? That's no big deal at all. Really, it isn't. Okay. So, you guys have been awesome. My name's been Rensler. Peace and chicken grease. Keep your stick on the ice. And I will still see you on Tuesday because I'm going to make sure that uh, episode 10 comes out on Tuesday. And I don't know. I don't know what that episode's going to be. That is probably going to be the uh, mount up load up, lock and load episode. I think it's going to be a research of armor and weapons and such. And we're going to, yeah. You know what? So episode 10 is going to be the Dolph Lundgren episode, okay? Just big guns and lots of armor and stuff, all right? All right, episode 10, the Dolph Lundgren episode. You guys have been amazing. Thank you so much. Peace. And I want to say this to the television audience. I made my mistakes, but in all of my years of public life, I have never profited never profited from public service. I've earned every cent.